Does Fortnite keep randomly crashing and you can't figure out why? Let's try these five solutions to try fix the issue. Before we try out any major solutions, try re-verifying your game files. It might be that the issue is created by corrupted or broken files, and doing this might fix everything. If the issue persists, let's move on to solution number one. Click on the three dots here and then manage. Click on this folder icon here to open the game installation location. Now follow this folder path that I'm taking right here. Now scroll down till you find this Fortnite client shipping EXE. Open its properties and under the compatibility tab, enable compatibility mode for Windows 8. And then also enable disable full screen optimizations. Then click on apply and OK to save changes. Now let's scroll back up and open this easy anti-cheat folder. Right click on this easy anti-cheat EXE and create a shortcut onto your desktop. Then drag that shortcut back into this folder, right click on it and open its properties. Here in this target text box, right after the quotation mark, leave a space and type in the word repair. Then click on apply and OK, and double click on that shortcut EXE to run it. If a command window opens up and your PC asks you for admin permissions, which is why my screen went black, that means this worked. If it did, then all's good. If not, try having the word repair in double quotes. This should also work fine. If your game still keeps crashing, let's try this next fix that even Epic Games recommends. Press the Windows key plus R to open the run window and then type in percent local app data percent and press enter. Then scroll down until you find this folder called Fortnite game. This is basically Fortnite's cache folder. You can go ahead and delete it and it's possible this fixes your problems. Although this doesn't break the game at all, if you don't want to risk anything, you can just rename the folder to something else. If all that didn't work, let's clear our Epic Games launcher cache and Windows cache. This is also something recommended by Epic Games and it might help resolve the issue. Let's start by pressing Windows plus R again, but this time all you need to do is add a backslash and the words Epic Games Launcher with no spaces. You'll see the folder recommended to you in this drop down here. Now open this folder called Saved and here you'll find this web cache folder. Go ahead and delete this. If you get an error like this, that means you have the Epic Games Launcher running in the background. You'll just need to close it and try again.